If you're like me, you probably use Periscope on a mobile phone, such as the Galaxy Note 4, which we're filming on at the moment, or perhaps on a tablet. I use the Galaxy Tab S 10.1. Periscope potentially is very rewarding. However, the screen is so small, it's very difficult to see. You can see yourself, of course, quite easily, but the comments coming down to the bottom of the screen can be a little bit difficult to read. However, don't worry because there are alternative options available to you. For instance, there are Android emulators available that can run on your PC or Mac, such as the two famous ones, Bluestacks or Andiroid. I have to confess that so far I've had difficulty in installing them and running Periscope on there, however I will keep persevering. But there's yet another option, that's a hardware option like this. A nice easy solution might be one of these things. These are HDMI adapters which you can use to connect a mobile phone or a tablet to your television set. Here I have two HDMI adapters. You can use these to connect your tablet or your mobile phone to your television set or to an HDMI monitor. That's an HDMI monitor even. I have two of them because I've just bought one for a friend of mine but I thought it would be handy before I give it to him to show you that they do differ slightly. Uh, they only cost a few pounds each from Amazon in this case. They will require some sort of power source. These are powered units and have a micro USB socket. On one of them it's on the back part of the socket here and on the other one it's on the side. The power that needs to go into here is from a micro USB plug, the same type that you would use to charge your mobile phone. So you could connect your computer, for instance, to your micro USB socket or the charger from your phone or any other mains charger that would be suitable for a tablet or a phone operating via a micro USB socket. You'll also find a standard HDMI socket. So you simply connect a lead from your television set or monitor HDMI port to the HDMI on here. Simple plug uh, and it pretty much operates. This end is a micro USB or micro HDMI. It's kind of a, um, a hybrid type connector, I guess. That goes into, in my case, a Galaxy Note 4 or my Samsung Galaxy Tab S 10.1, trying to remember the models of phones I use. I believe it does work with lots of different mobile phones and tablets, so you will have to try that yourself, or perhaps you'd like to check with the supplier of your tablet or phone whether you can do that. I think though most modern mobile phones and tablets would be able to work with this system in place. What that then enables you to do is to have the output, the video output and the audio output from your mobile phone or tablet show on your television screen. If you're using an application that allows you to rotate the screen and see things in uh, portrait mode, sorry, in landscape mode, then that will come up in landscape mode on your television set as well. So the likes of Periscope, the advantages are that you can see the comments on the screen nice and big so you can sit back maybe five six seven feet away from your screen place the phone somewhere near your television screen because of course it's using the camera from your phone and then you you're able to sit back people can see you from perhaps this kind of distance on periscope whereas normally i would be peering into the camera i don't know what, <laughs> what job the camera's making of trying to focus on me there but i would normally be squinting into the camera from this kind of distance to see so if i want to do something like juggling with kittens or doing something silly i could be doing that from a distance and still able to read the comments on the bottom of the screen because i'm watching it on my 55 inch tv or your 75 inch tv or whatever it is you've got this is my own setup I use two monitors for my video editing normally and one of them of course is an HDMI monitor as, as most modern monitors are these days. So what I'm going to do is take the HDMI socket out of the back of my all-in-one computer here. If I can just lean over. Remove the HDMI socket from there. And you'll see that I've already plugged into my Galaxy Note I've plugged the HDMI adapter in, I've taken the USB power that I normally have plugged into my mobile phone from my all-in-one computer and that's plugged into the power socket on the HDMI adapter and then I plug the HDMI adapter from the back of my monitor into the socket, it only fits in one way and then we'll power up 
my mobile phone. Now you'll see that initially it comes up with the mobile phone is now showing on the monitor uh, over here. Um, but it's in a, a portrait format. However, if we're running an application that allows for landscape formats, it will adapt to that too. So, for instance, if I wanted to watch a video uh, from my computer on, on my um, bigger monitor that was stored on my tablet or on my mobile phone, I can do that. In this case, I'm going to go into Apps and my Periscope app. If I can find the flipping thing, um, Periscope is over here. And we'll start a broadcast. And this has now gone into its landscape format. Hopefully now you can see both of the screens. We're going to start our broadcast. And I'm just going to do a broadcast just for a few seconds really. So let me just click on start broadcast. Um, I think we'll just give it untitled. We're now live. There's nobody online yet. We need to switch my phone around at the moment. We're getting video feedback from the other monitor. Hello there. We actually have somebody with us. Danielle, is that Danielle? And uh, Nolan from Liverpool joined us. We're just going to try and turn this camera around, by the way, guys. We've got, uh, who's that there? Danielle. Hi, Danielle. How are you doing, my friend? I'm actually in the middle, and you're uh, live on there at the moment of a YouTube broadcast. This is um, on how to set up Periscope with an HDMI lead. I'm going to tilt my camera up a little bit because it's cutting off the top of my beautiful bald head. And of course, as you can see, I have no ears. Um, this this lot, they love me to bits really, but they say I've got no ears. They don't really love me. <laughs> but they do send hearts sometimes up the right hand column there, which I love to have. Hello, who's that there? Zar. Is that a Zara? Z A Zara, maybe. And as you can see, some lovely hearts there coming up on the screen as well. So now I can chat to my friends because I've, I've made quite a lot of new friends on the Periscope app. And there's nobody here, no there isn't anybody here, we're talking to this camera at the moment which is recording uh, a YouTube video on how you're able to use the Periscope app on a big monitor because uh, as you know when Kevin and I do a broadcast together we have you on a big monitor or sometimes even a 55 inch TV. We're loving those hearts by the way guys. I've been tuning into a couple of your broadcasts over the past day or two. Tom, I saw your trick with the, um, the handkerchief. I think you've got a bit of work to do on that mate if you're around. And anyway, there you go. That's how we... Uh, I'm going to talk to my friends for a bit now. Thanks very much for watching us, guys. And uh, I hope this has been of use to you. I hope that's been of help to you. If it's been of any use, because I'm going to cut off about here, can you please consider liking and subscribing to the video because that will encourage me to think of more ideas I can share with you and that might be of some help to you in your daily, daily grind. <laughs> Thanks very much. Take care. Bye now. no gravity that sucked me in your orbit There's no magnet that was in your heart The one restriction was the friction that was keeping us a little too far apart